Hi there, um, I have a cold. There's been this awful thing going around work and um, even healthy people like me have succumbed to it. <laughs> but I'm nearly better now anyway. So. I've just been to see um, the new Hobbit film and although now it's late and I have to go to bed so early because I start work so incredibly early now, um, I have to get up at like half past four in the morning so I have to go to bed stupidly early. Um, Anyways, just despite being tired, I thought last time I made a, f a video it was um, after I'd been to see a film, so I thought this time I'd been to see a film, so I will make another video. The Hobbit, it was um, enjoyable, it was really fun to see. Um, obviously, it was made for 3D as well, and you can tell that, especially at the beginning. I didn't notice it so much through the rest of it, but at the beginning it was... Um, very, I could imagine how it would look in the 3D with the things coming towards you sort of thing. Um, I thought it was really well cast, I was a bit um, dubious about Martin Freeman because he was cast in that, in the last, in the Hitchhiker's Guide film and I thought he was miscast as Arthur Dent. He wasn't quite right for my Arthur Dent. Um, so but he was good, he was good. He he only annoyed me once and he only started to go back to that old sort of character. The rest of it, it fitted in really well being the young um, pod. <laughs> um, because I always think of that actor who plays the older Bilbo Baggins as um, as pod in the... Um, uh, what are the little people called? The borrowers. <laughs> Uh, if you're in America you'll have had different borrowers anyway it was an English one that I saw him as pod anyway he's done a lot of other acting roles of course but I thought that was yeah that was good um, the story obviously was good I've not read the book when I was younger I tried to read the book my sister who was my sister then obviously isn't now um, loved the, that stuff and had the book and I thought it counted as a classic and stuff because I like to read classics and tried to read it and it had too many characters in it too many names and not enough descriptions and I couldn't read it really but now I've seen now I have seen the film I could probably start reading the book and make more sense of it I don't know uh, yeah the effects were amazing I thought you know the golem was amazing the um, even the animals there was loads of CGI obviously but it, it didn't look it's come on so much that it's just wonderful for fantasy films um, you can really lose yourself in it I felt like a kid again I think that um, I felt like my spiritual children were sitting watching it with me like I should have had a ten-year-old by now sitting watching it with me you know um, so the kid in me loved it uh, the only um, problem with the CGI was and the long shots there seemed to be yeah the long shots with the the animals and stuff just looked really silly and um, it was funny we laughed um, it was it was quite light-hearted had a good good life lessons as not life lessons like it was quite good-hearted it wasn't so much a, it wasn't really scary and it wasn't about fighting and war as much um, so yeah definitely kids kind of film I liked it when he brought the um, hedgehog back to life that eccentric sort of nature loving wizard um, I like to think I don't come across that way although I love nature I didn't know that it was going to be a trilogy I thought it was going to be The Hobbit that was the film The Hobbit and it was unfortunately, unfortunately I found out it just ended and they haven't finished yet and it's going to be one of those long haul treks um, it, um, I was I found it quite funny all the um, false noses and all the long shots of little people running you know it was quite yeah you could take the piss out of it but you could take the piss out of a lot of films I think it's got its own little style 
this isn't coming across very well but it never does does it it's always in here and it doesn't come out here um some other things um i haven't been making many videos i haven't made any since really the summer and i wanted to catch you up on that eventually somehow what i've been doing what's been going on um yeah i started working like i said really really early um in the summer i went to my i went to see my sister and my brother and their mum who's not my mum but their dad was my dad so i went to see them and they lived it they live in um cornwall uh well i think it counts as yeah it's cornwall and um it was a really long journey but it was one of the most pleasantest journeys ever and it was one of my most favourite type of holidays and I really felt like I was family there and I hope that they would have me again um, it's really, we saw some really beautiful things and they took me on day trips and we went bowling for my sister's, my younger sister's birthday and I won and only just recently I was thinking maybe I shouldn't have won, maybe they were supposed to maybe we were supposed to let raise you in I always forget about the fact that sometimes people let people win at things um, and I was really chuffed that I'd won and then I've been going over it and I'm thinking maybe I was supposed to deliberately not do so well in the last few and let her win and then she would have been happy and I just didn't think of that really if it was me I don't think I'd want to win it um, because other people had not tried hard does that make sense? That's not a real win. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. And it's the taking part that counts and stuff. Um, so, uh, this is my flat, by the way. This is upstairs. This is my boyfriend's flat. He lives here now. And that, those curtains are hideous. Yeah. I replaced my hideous curtains a while back with some nice black ones. Um, and I know black, black. I'm not very good at interior design, but I like them. So now I'm like, my bedroom's black and white and stuff. The damps come back though in the front room and waiting on the landlord to sort it out because the agent can't do anything about it and it's really bad and you don't want to know about that but yeah yeah I live in the damp flat. Anyway when I was in Cornwall um, I bought this rose quartz crystal I don't remember if I showed you or not but it's one of my favourite ones and it wasn't a rip off price either for one that size I can't remember how much it was but it was so cheap and it's really really pink and amazing it's rough and it's got really great straight sides and it's amazing oh, love it oh, love it love rose quartz especially untumbled rose quartz I have got some tumbled rose quartz which I got from my younger sister for my birthday so it is extra special um, and when I first saw it I did think oh no it's tumbled I thought yay she's remembered my birthday and yay it's rose quartz and then I thought oh no it's tumbled and then I felt it and it's just perfect I just felt it brilliant love it put it with the others um, probably don't need any more though <laughs> for a bit uh, what else oh yeah I got a Cornish water bottle I could have shown you but that, just to provide bean or something I don't know I, it was a shame how much when I was there we all relied on electric gadgets we were always staring at us not always because we weren't on day trips but you know we spent a lot of time watching DVDs or playing computer games it made me realise you know what I really like to do is sit down at a table and play a game or have a talk and get to know somebody I really I'm the type of person I really like really to really know somebody or to really connect with somebody and I very rarely feel like I'm doing that um, so when I came away I felt really sad that in a way I hadn't replaced all those years of not knowing them because um, I didn't if you don't know the story I didn't know them they got they were taken I didn't live with them in any case I'd visited them and then they, she she went away with them and I didn't know where they were and I couldn't talk to them and and then I met them when they were teenagers. Sorry, sniffy noise. Um, oh, computer, don't turn off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's a shame I don't know them better. But it was nice to sort of get to know them a bit. It was nice to slip into that 
they didn't disturb me in my room they let me like do do what I wanted I don't know I don't know how to explain it to you but a lot of the time I don't like being somewhere else where you know away from my home away from the things the way I like it but I just felt really relaxed there and I could just do what I wanted not do what I wanted but like be by myself if I wanted to take as long as I want to get ready I don't know eat what, what I want when I want they weren't fussy they weren't prying in the questions and they they were just lovely and now I'm crying again it's, I always cry in my videos it's great isn't it it's lovely not embarrassed anyway apart from that we had loads of Jewish festivals and stuff and I was really stressed about that if I remember correctly but it's all done and anyway it's Hanukkah at the moment you miss so much. I just can't. I was trying to remember it and I remembered it for ages and I can't. So bits will come out over time. I just recently stayed at a friend's house and uh, when I was at her house, I had some really strange dreams. Um, I often absorb people's energies and I think she's paranoid. But um, not in a nasty. I don't mean that and it really that sounded really awful. She's a really, really good friend. But I dreamt that something had jumped on my stomach and I thought oh it's just a cat and then I thought hang on I'm not at home it's not a cat right and it, it was this if I remember beetle it was a beetle and um, it was quite it was massive and it started flying around the room and in my dream I'd woken up and watched this massive beetle jump up around on the ceiling and it was going all around um, and it was it was metal it was not a real beetle it was made out of dark metal and then um, I was quite scared because it was quite big and then I realized it was a remote control thing and a kid had the controls and then it was that everyone was selling them in the shops but they had little cameras on and they were watching they were in every home but they were watching what you were doing and stuff and reporting back to the government <laughs> it was really like that and there was a lot of food in that dream like she'd cooked all this food in the morning she'd laid it all out and I was like what are you doing and she'd heated up this meat or something this stuff that shouldn't have been left warm keeping warm and it was keeping warm for ages and I was scared and she was she was like I don't know what you mean and it wasn't very nice in that way I suppose in my dream I also had another one uh, while I was there I think and my I was going around with my I was going to say step mum their, their mum my half brother and sister's mum excuse me um, in my dream they were taking me around these places and I kept seeing these again food these, these buffets and it was almost like I was thinking I want to take something but I don't think I should take something because it's not mine and I think it's for another group like reserved I don't know what that means and there were strawberries there were specific things I remembered it when I woke up but it was a while ago um, and posters and yeah I best not go on about that anymore we've had a ghost at work we've got loads of ghosts at work and I have heard a, ba a baby crying and I had a witness because I w we had one and it went so like mum mama um something like that mum like that and I said did you hear that and they did and the shop wasn't open right we start early in the morning the shop was not open and there, we are near doors that are on a street but the street runs alongside so if you're going to hear somebody you're going to hear them going all the way along you're not just going to hear them once there was no trundling of a pram there was no mummy talking there was no other sounds at all and it was really loud as if it was inside the shop really loud and another time, twice recently, I've heard a baby crying. And another girl who's worked on my area on a weekend has heard a baby crying. And previously, in a group one time, right behind me, in a closed area with witnesses, it went, la, la, la. <laughs> and other people have heard laughing. Someone said they had their hair pulled. And one time, ages ago overnight working I felt someone and I saw someone and but by the time I looked up there was just these white trousers 
and they say the building was a hospital but then people always say that and they were saying that was the mortuary of course and once one person says it everybody says it and it gets passed around i've no idea if it really was a hospital ever or if that was a certain area or but i don't i know i'm definitely hearing babies crying when there can't possibly be a baby crying and it's not just me uh, and someone said, ooh, I found baby mo- fingerprints on this door and it was cleaned last night. But I don't know about fingerprints, but I said, mm, maybe they just missed that bit. There, there are explanations, I don't know. What else. I don't know. Um, I better go, it's like 16 minutes. I'm so sorry, this video could be a lot better. Um, just before I go, I'm going to quickly show you these nail polishes that I love. I'm going to make a video about all the products that I'm loving at the moment. I know you're probably not interested, but I really want to tell you because I really love things when I love them. It's this model's own nail polish I've, I got recently called Southern Lights. You can't tell. I'll have to wear it for a video. No, oh, you can't see it whatsoever. But it's like, it is vaguely bluey purpley, but it is very, very small sparkles with all multicolored sparkles, like wrapping paper at this time of year. Excuse me. And um, this one is called 349, and it's by Barry M. And it's pink sparkle. And that goes nice on top of a, like a really pale, pearly pink. You can wear it on top of any color or by itself, but I wouldn't wear the ones with the big sparkle by themselves. This one you can wear by itself with two coats or on top of a colour. And this is a, a new one I got, which I shouldn't have got. I didn't realise I was I didn't have any money. 243. And it's called Beyond Cozy. And it's like a really, really glittery sil a gold. But it's not a brassy gold. It's a kind of a pewter gold with look, can you see that catching the blue lights in there? Ooh. Anyway, they're quite expensive though, but they don't they stay on ages. Um, I've been doing loads of swimming, I've taken up swimming, and I can't go on anymore because it's 17, but it's probably not that because I'll have cut it, so ignore that. Um, I hope to read you some more Hitchhiker soon, I need to hurry up and finish that, and then get on to reading some Red Dwarfy type stuff. I loved the new series by the way, I really did, um, Craig Charles especially have to make a video about that okay so i'm gonna go bye everybody bye